Hello and welcome back to the Audacious Altmer. So, we are continuing to get claims all over Cyrodiil as we wait for our threat to drop below 50%, at which point we're going to take their capital and, well, then we're going to move on to the next people. And that's pretty much our plan. So, let's unpause. Oh, we also need to gain some money back because uh, I think I got some claims last time that were very good but very costly. So, let's unpause and let things kind of go on their way. Um, the something has everyone's attention, full attention except mine. Obviously, I can't even remember its name. My thoughts are elsewhere as I try to ignore... <clears throat> uh, let me try again. I, I got really distracted because I was thinking of there was a good pun to do with elsewhere and then it completely got lost. Anyway, my thoughts are elsewhere as I try to ignore her sacrilegious words echoing through the temple. Suddenly, my concentration is shattered when the stranger next to me grabs my hand and draws something in... My palm with their index finger. Ah, yes! I knew I was forgetting something we are doing. The holy symbol of Shiagora. Right. Well, I must follow them once the mass is over. I follow the stranger as she departs from the crowd and ventures into a deserted alleyway. As around the corner, I find her waiting. Shiagora's blessing, Marion. She greets me. My name is Tassar. Uh, Arel Timel. Are you ready to fight for the true faith? Um, sure. Yeah, I've been waiting for this day. A smile spreads across Tassar's disfigured face. Excellent! Then I am honored to welcome you to the secret followers of Shiagorath. Together we'll uh, work to bring about the liberation of the true believers and a new era of Shiagorath's glory. You will receive your first mission soon. So... You know how there's all this talk about receiving our first mission, right? What if, instead of doing that, um, we could just take up our new... We could just say our religion goes, and you don't get a choice in the matter. You know, like, by doing this. So, now, this is our religion. How do people feel about that? I mean, to be fair, these guys don't care. They're, they're pretty much the same. In fact, most people seem to be pretty much the same. Uh, apart from the people who think we're infidels. Yeah, that's alright. Right, right uh, did anyone switch with us? No, it's literally just us. Okay. Well, that's fine. Hey, my son switched to the sea elf religion? Oh, that's just not on at all. Right, what can I do as a member of this religion? Okay. Rulers can order uh, adult unlanded courtiers to take the vow. Okay. Priests can marry. Okay. Women may old t hold temple may own temple holdings. Um, no opinion penalty against female rulers and heirs. Fleets can navigate major rivers. Rulers can raid infidel neighbors for loot. Ooh. Can take up to one concubine. Okay. Um, Non-pagans with low tech have very sl uh, low supply limit in Cult of Shiagorath counties. I uh, can designate any valid offspring as heir. There is and can exist no religious head. Okay. So could I go... Actually, I want my daughter to be heir. No. No, I cannot. Okay, so we can not do. So we can do a lot of them, but not that one. How does Shia Gorath feel about us? He's pretty happy. Yeah. We could ask him for a boon if he wants to. The gift of madness. Hmm. Okay, um... Daedric Invasion? That's going to take a while. Also, it needs us to have one of many things. I assume it just means you to be part of a cult and then have 25,000 um, stuff. Okay, that's fine. Um, Lesser Daedric Horde. Only need you to have 2,500. Ooh, that's much better. Claim the Fork of uh, Horopolition? Okay, receive a fork. An eating utensil with exceptional enhancements. For the charity of madness. Okay. Interesting. Um, well, now I've done that, we can obviously have no CBs, but I'm interested to see what happens now that we're following a new religion. How does everyone feel about that? Baroness Tassar has revealed a shocking truth. She is, and is not alone among the nobility of her... She is a follower of Shia Gorf, and is not alone among the nobility of her realm. For years, they've been building communities of adherence to their faith. And there are even places in my own lands where the, most of the populace prays to Shiragorath. How did they keep it secret for so long? Aha! Fantastic! My, uh... All my work I did several lifetimes ago has 
gone well. Actually, look at Valen Wood. That's crazy. That's re gone really, really well. Okay. Um, Oi Monwi was adamant as she tried to point. Uh, she tries to make me appoint one of her male friends. No. Um, also, if I check religion now. Okay, interesting. So we we control one holy site, sort of, but lacks temple holding. Uh, do we want to give it a temple holding? I don't know. I don't have any money, so no, I guess, but okay. Interesting. Nothing seems to have changed. I kind of expected a little bit more. Maybe we have different CVs. I don't know. I like. I expected a lot more, really, from switching. I was like expecting some, at least some outrage, but no. Seems to be okay. Uh, do we have any factions against us? No. Hey, you know what's good though? Um, the ability to raid infidel neighbors for loot. I quite like that one. That one's uh, pretty good. Uh, yeah, so let's head up here and start raiding infidel neighbors for loot. Oh, wouldn't you look at that? There's a whole bunch of loot here. Uh, Blood Run has fallen. The garrison is defeated and the populace has surrendered. The commanding generals ask if we should take any able bodied men and women back to the Old Mary Dominion as slaves. <clears throat> okay. I mean, we could. And that gets us Nord slaves, which gives us tax income. Or we could just sell them at auction, get some money, or spare them. Now yeah, we'll get some slaves, that's fine. And Nordic Mountain Horses. I forgot that slavery was legal in our lands. Fine. We're also making an extreme amount of money from doing this. Uh, I could not help but overhear the stable master and a courtier's animated discussion. Something about a horse and a payment due today, but the courtier insisted on paying the stable master later this week. I should interfere. I settled the matter between Kinlord Sorkelin II and my stable master and tried to be as just as I could, and they, but they still won't speak to each other. Okay. Leave that one, and we'll assault that one down. Next one. Um. Yeah, sure, we'll get more tax income. That sounds good. Uh, next one. Okay, assault. Uh, obviously we'll get the last one with more tax income. That seems good. And assault it down. Mercantile Association needs a bargainer. Well, I can do that. Interesting. After intense study and careful research, you think you might have learned something after all. You take the book and head back to the library, placing the book on the counter. You glance back to the shelves. After all, there's so much more to learn. Um. Okay, I'll spend money, I guess. I don't know if that's good or bad. Chance of making a deal and... Fantastic! Uh, nice little profit, which I get a very, very small amount of. Assault. Nice. The pillaging and looting undertaking in your name has earned you a reputation as a fearsome raider. All along the coasts of Nurn, mothers tucking the children at night. Uh... In, in for the night, warn that them that unless they behave, the terrible uh, Marion, scourge of the gods, will come with him, fearsome warriors, and eat them. I'm a raider. Okay, cool. Malada has fallen, the garrison is defeated, and uh, yeah, let's get some money. That sounds good. Assault the next one down. Let's continue taking all the money that we can find in here. Assault it down. Obviously, we'll take the money. We're now in positive, so our retinue is going to start reinforcing again, and we're going to go down into negatives. Um, we've got the Amulet of Diabella. Ooh, interesting. And we got some more money. Nice. Salt down. Continue just grabbing all of their money over here. Um, you know, I kind of want to just defeat that army. Oh, wait, no, that's that, that's my uh, friend. That's a friendly army. Never mind. My Chancellor, Kinlord Sorkelin II, kindly suggests it would be a benefit to our realm if I studied languages spoken at foreign courts. He also offers himself to aid me in my studies. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Right, so assault it down. And continue making money. And assault it down. And move to the next province. Ooh, uh, one of my commanders has become much better. Nice. Assault it down, take the money. And assault it down. Nice. Oh, fantastic. They expanded for a single province. Oh, well. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, our threat did go up because of it, but no, it's not too bad. They got a single province. Salt that down. Get the money. Move on. Head um, in here. Actually, we'll just head to this one. 
I can't stand dealing with my guild mates. We almost never see eye to eye on anything, especially bad when you end up working on the same assignments. Every waking moment I spend around Mulama is horrible. You know what, I can't stand you anymore. Mulama and I hate one another. If we weren't rivals before, we're certainly rivals now. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic, we'll get some money there. Um, We're just walking, talking, climbing some stairs, and then Kinlord Errolly, the cautious, tripped and fell a few steps. A few retainers immediately caught on and did the same, tripping themselves and falling uh, up the stairs as well. Um, I think we've got a new fashion on our hands. Okay, interesting. Uh, I wonder if that one's a Shia Gorath event, because that seemed to not make sense. Need a new advisor. New advisor's gonna be the High Queen of Elsewhere, where I will also uh, send a little bit of money to and ask to change religion. Can I do that? No, I cannot. That's fine, whatever. Uh, we need a new commander. New commander is going to be uh, my father, who is an advisor, but that's okay. Right. Assault it down. Continue making money. And assault it down. Nice, nice. Into Tillman. Assault it down. Day after day spent training and night after night poring over treaties, tomes, and manuals is finally paying off. I'm ready to take next steps to my studies and receive a formal recognition for my abilities in one of my... The cleric specializations. I didn't realize we had any, but I'm a witch hunter. Okay, is there anything less appropriate to become? But whatever, we're a witch hunter. That's fine. We'll get the money. And Spirit of Nern. That sounds good. Alright, assault this down. Distractions seem to overwhelm you during your studies. The simplest pleasures, even plain and mundane chores, seem like time better spent uh, than drowning in books all evening. How does one manage to keep focused when everything else is so much more appealing? Uh, yeah, I want to be diligent. Sure. Got some more money. I'm just going to bring the retinue back so we can reinforce a little bit here. It's okay. What's our threat like? That's yeah, okay. As farmers prepare for sowing their spring crops, your court chaplain suggests you bring out the holy relic in possession and bless the fields. Yeah, sure. We'll bless the fields. Uh, apparently we're going to start falling up steps. Some more. Oh yeah, let's fall up steps. It's the new fashion and everyone's doing it. Literally everyone. Okay. Uh, some land has been usurped, but that's okay. My vassal's concerned. Well, whatever. I don't care. Someone finished their education. Uh, oh, right. Yes, we have people in our uh, prison. Uh, they're not really worth that much money. I'll just release them. That's okay. Right. Uh, we could upgrade Foxland and our team gun, and I think we will do that. Just to make a little bit extra tax on those provinces. There we go. Nice. Back over here. Into deep scorn, so we can make ourselves a little bit more. Uh, assault it down. Obviously sell. Uh, assault it down. Yeah, assault it down. Nice. A strange chest of an unknown metal was recovered by your men uh, while they looted the holding. Try as they might, they haven't been able to force the chest open. And its contents remain a mystery. It's now been deposited in your care. Uh, one day, the chest will be opened. Mark my words. Okay, we received a beautiful new strange chest. Okay, salt that down. Uh, it says that there is disease in our land. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, shut the gates. That's fine. Back over this way. Um, continue just going over here. Yeah, we'll spend money on a barony. That's okay. This person's been showing signs of the illness. Nah, gotta go. Right. Uh, assault this down. Get some more money. And assault this down. Nice. Back to the next province. Who's attacking here? That's elsewhere's attacking. What are they attacking for? Zero war over the rim. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, this person's suffering. Oh, chuck him out, definitely. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Uh, we're building more things, which is okay. I'm going to assault this down. Get some more money. And assault the next one down. Perfect. Next one. Just keep moving from province to province. Uh, looting as much as we can. Right. While looting the holding, one of your men came across a strange-looking key made of an unknown metal. As you examine it, the metal reminds you of the mysterious chest you recovered earlier. Perhaps there was a connection. 
The key fits the lock, and with trembling anticipation, you slowly open the chest. It is filled with ancient gold co coins, carved with the likeness of long dead emperors of Rome. Emperors of Rome? Excuse me? That doesn't seem right. And words written in their strange language. A small fortune. Yeah, we, we've got um, money from another realm. From, a, from another world. I definitely want to come and attack here if I can. Defeat Cyrodiil's men. Oh, people are tripping up steps again. Lovely. Your determination and hard work has paid off. Studying with uh, Kinlord Sorkel in a second, you've learned several new languages at a decent level of fluency. This will surely increase your prestige at foreign courts. Nice. Diplomacy and learning went up. We should definitely have commanders in charge of our armies. Yeah, especially if we're going to attack people. Nice. Good army uh, win there. I'll just get the ransoms, whatever. Just head through here. See if we can help our vassals by uh, basically just killing things on the way. Hey, everyone's falling up things now. That was another falling up event. Right. I'm spending a lot of time with a few people. You've been positively surprised by Henyon. During this difficult time, you've gotten to know and understand him well. In many ways, he compliments you nicely, and you had a good time together. Nice. Salt that down. Right. Keep assaulting it down. And assault another one down. Nice. As your men return from looting the holding, one of them hands you an axe of a strange purple sheen and a plus etched into the handle, followed by the number two. After weighing it carefully in your hands, you toss aside your old grey axe in favour of the new weapon. Oh, yeah. Plus two axe. Lovely. How's our, um... I didn't mean to move into that map mode. How's our uh, marshal looking now? That is great. We're using the dwarven short, uh, sword, though, not our plus two axe. So plus two axe better. Dwarven Swords three marshal. What's our plus two axe? Four marshal. Yeah. Um, equip. Perfect. So now we're at 13 marshal. It's going well. Uh, you've got the disease. Have to go. Uh, definitely assaulting this down. It's another uh, lycanthrope. Right. Uh, obviously get the money. Continue along here. Assault down. And get the money. Continue along here. We've filled the ambition to build a war chest. Yep. Uh, salt it down. Get some money. And get the Highland Cavi. Okay. Uh, elsewhere, it doesn't look like they have that many troops left. But we could head back into our land and see if we can help them out a little bit here. Uh, people are falling upstairs again. You've got the disease. Have to go. We have Divine Prosecutors giving us men. Let's see if we can back up um, elsewhere here. Nice. Good um, battle. Head up this way. We'll get some assaults going. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, and more stuff. Perfect. Can I give uh, Shea Gorath all of these artifacts I'm not using? No. He's currently inaccessible. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Um... So I actually can't do anything to make him like us. No, that's okay. Are we still in that society? No, we're still in the Mercantile Guild. Um, yeah, and of course we're no longer in Shia Gorath's society that we were in for all of 10 seconds because we just embraced the religion. Okay. Assault, make some money. Assault. Nice. Next province. We have an open council position for a marshal. That can be that guy, uh, and he can do whatever he's doing. Then we need a new commander. New commander is going to be Veleste. That's fine. Right. Make sure they all have jobs. And head in here and make some more money. Nice. Perfect. We'll head back here. And just continue uh, reinforcing a little bit. Right. How's the disease looking? It's all over the place. Okay. Now I want to check whether being a follower of Shia Gorath gave us more ways to declare war. We can do Inquisitions now. Interesting. Well, that is good. Hmm. Okay. But really, we'd, we just want to declare for all claims, which right now is still quite a lot of land, but that's okay. Um, I just want to make sure Elsewhere win this war. Seems useful. It's, it's quite in favor of Elsewhere right now. We'll just kind of stand around and beat up Cyrodiil's army for them. That's okay. I'm happy to do a proxy war. Oh! Um, okay. 
I'll have one Marshall, please. Thank you, placeholder. Uh, it's that same event again. Now at 14 Marshall, which is much better than we were. We were in a very bad spot in terms of Marshall at one point. How are we looking? 100%? Oh, fantastic. So they'll now get... Uh, oh, all of that land. Lovely. Look at that. Our threat has gone up. Oh, it hasn't gone up that much, actually. It did go up again. Right, well, I think it's time to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. Apparently, all we need to do exp to expand is watch for our vassals declaring war, set on looter, and just go and uh, attack whoever attacks them. Right, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.